About 15 minutes outside of Jerusalem is the R&D headquarters of Israeli startup Powermat. Five years ago, Powermat CEO Ron Poliakin first asked his future chief technology officer about the possibilities of a wireless charger for cell phones. And he told him, you know, there's nothing we can do. You know, about 100 years ago, Tesla tried it and then indeed couldn't do it. And then I said, you know, but, you know, try harder. You know, I'm sure that we can, I'm sure that we can do something. In the 1890s, Nikolai Tesla showed the world that electric charges could travel through air using giant devices later called Tesla coils. But how could these things be made small enough to fit in cell phones? Powermat's CTO didn't divulge any details. The technology is, is quite simple, basically, but we make it very small, very, very thin. It can be embedded, as you can see, in our product, and, and it's working. Most Powermats with designs for one, two, or three phones are plugged in. But Powermat also has one that's battery-powered. So what I do is I charge it up, and then when I'm traveling and going abroad, I only need to take this with me, and then I can charge up my phone very easily. Powermat successfully partnered with American distributor Homedics, who brought the charging units to over 30,000 stores, selling about 5 million units by the end of 2010. But Powermat is not stopping there. Cohen shares some of their vision. We want wireless charging to be exactly like Wi-Fi. So when you're traveling, you're expecting to find Wi-Fi wherever you are. And Powermat realizes that, as a tiny company, the only way to get there is collaborating with the giants. They've started working with Arconis, the U.S.'s largest airport seating company, and with Technion, the largest office furniture maker, both of whom are working on putting PowerMath's transmitters in their furniture. Basically, this is uh, developed by Technion. So they've taken the PowerMath technology and they've embedded it into the lamp. It's commercially available through the Technion website and they've already started selling thousands of units of it. Yeah, so what you do is you basically use one outlet, you know, you're already using it for your lamp, so why not also use it to charge your phone? But their biggest success story lately is a $5 million investment by General Motors, which will help embed chargers between the seats of the Chevy Volt starting sometime next year. And part of the extended plans with GM include charging the Volt itself, a hybrid electric car that normally needs to be literally plugged in to recharge. Basically, when you charge up your car, uh, you know, if it's raining outside, it could be very dangerous. So one of the things that we are developing, but this is more long term, is to actually to have a solution to charge up the entire car wirelessly. The PowerMat technology can not only send electricity into a charger, but also wirelessly power up an appliance itself. I have a KitchenAid mixer, completely A wireless. real mixer? A real mixer, okay. absolutely. The only thing that's been modified on here is that it has a PowerMat receiver built on the inside. Okay. Just have to slide it forward. Oh, are you getting... That is incredible. Operates, no cord, no, no power no cords or on this nothing. countertop at all. Nope. Operates at full power, 300 watts, and slide it back <laughs> off. <and laughs> CTO Ben Shalom laughs when he remembers that the first time he played with wireless electricity transmission was at his job at Jerusalem's Science Museum for Children. Yeah, honestly, you know, the first experiment was done in the museum. We have lots of demonstration about lighting light bulb without power, without connection, and how to induct power, things like this. 